It is the second week of negotiations and the commencement of the high-level ministerial meetings in which negotiations will be adopted and finalized. Now, the Gambia's Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Natural Resources, Honorable Lyman B. Dibba, has arrived here in Madrid and now takes charge as the new head of the Gambian delegation. So far, he has been engaged on in a marathon of meetings at different pavilions and LDC negotiations and looks forward to bilateral talks. Received at the airport by the Gambian delegates, the Environment Minister kicked off his meetings with the African Ministerial Conference on Environment. The Minister said the purpose of the meeting was to brief the Ministers on the status of negotiations with regards to climate financing and other African priorities. Because if we have our own fund that can support us to uh, carry out our mitigation and adaptation activities, that way we will be not be dependent too much on this uh, global funding mechanism. We have expressed our concern that uh, we, we do not have time. Climate is an emergency, it's urgent for us to have adequate financing to support and build the capacities of Africa. The minister was also invited at the Francophone Pavilion by the Burkina Faso delegation. The minister shared experiences on climate action, mitigation and adaptation. So building resilience of our population, particularly those at the grassroots, is very important. When we build their resilience through their capacity development, through giving them support to enhance their resilience to climate change, will do a lot to support our process of development. Moving on to the Senegalese Pavilion as a guest speaker on the Senegal Day. The minister held closed-door meetings with his Senegalese counterpart, Abdul Karim Sal. At the opening ceremony, the minister made remarks on a need for collaboration of the two ministries to tackle the common problem of climate change. And our environment are on the same zone. A typical example this year, Senegal is affected by drought and Gambia is more so affected by drought. So what this indicates is that these two countries and the countries around need to come together and come up with a plan and a policy that will support to ameliorate the situation of environment and environmental degradation within our countries. Attending the least developed country negotiations, the minister was briefed on the progress that has been made so far. In our special circumstance, of course, is dictated by uh, our environment, which uh, poverty, which uh, exposes us to high vulnerability, and also lack of technology, lack of capital, and the capacity need to be enhanced. So these are realities that we must feed into the negotiation. At the offices of the Gamian delegation, the minister held brief meetings with the UNCDF on the local project in the Gambia, followed by the former Environment Minister of Senegal and current Director of the Reforestation Agency, who has embarked on a crusade of planting 15,000 hectares of mangroves. The Gambia has taken a commitment under the Bond Challenge to restore 400,000 hectares of degraded forest land, including mangroves. So this would support uh, in that endeavor to, to reach that target. The minister is set to meet other development partners and stakeholders as meetings at the COP25 intensify. Reporting for GRTS News in Spain, Madrid, I'm by Ibrahim Cham.